Tensions between Iran and Israel have flared after Tehran launched drone and missile attacks on Tel Aviv on April 13th in what was a response to the fatal airstrike on Iranian consulate in Syria on April 1st. 13 people, including three generals of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, died in the attack in Damascus two weeks ago. The unit's top commander, Brigadier General Mohammed Reza Zahedi, was among those who lost their lives in the offensive which Iran accused Israel of committing. Set up in 1979, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard is a strong military with army, navy and air forces. Some 125,000 people serve as troops. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard, a well-resourced unit, is complementary to the country's regular military and it is responsible for internal and border security, law enforcement and controlling Iran's missile forces. After the April 1st attack on its diplomatic premises in Syria, Iran threatened retaliation over what it termed an Israeli provocation. And on Saturday, Iran fired missiles and released drones towards Israel, forcing Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to convene an emergency war cabinet to discuss how Israel would neutralize the air attacks. On Sunday, Israeli forces say that Iran had launched more than 300 drones and missiles, but more than 99% of them were intercepted outside of Israel's borders. The United States and the United Kingdom intercepted many of the drones and missiles headed to Israel. According to Ruth Planner, the shortest air distance between Iran and Israel is 1,725 kilometers, and by road, it is 2,150 kilometers. Israel had hours to prepare for the arrival of the drones or intercept them, as the slow-moving drones were expected to take around nine hours to arrive in Tel Aviv. Ballistic missiles, however, would take 12 minutes, and cruise missiles would take two hours to reach Israel. Senior Israeli government officials, including national security and finance ministers, have called for an immediate response to the Iranian offensive saying that Israel would face an existential threat if it delays a forceful reaction. Israel's foreign ministry suggested sanction on Iranian missiles as a consequence for the drone attacks. On Sunday, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi warned Israel against what it termed reckless behavior, saying Tehran will not hesitate launching a decisive and much stronger response. Iran further said it had concluded its operation targeted at Israel. Turkey, the United States, South Africa and Pope Francis have urged the escalation of tensions between Iran and Israel, warning of a possible spillover if the situation is not contained. The U.S., which ruled out joining Israeli attacks on Iran, has requested Turkey to mediate the two countries' conflict. Iran and Israel have had a tense relationship over the years, with Israel accusing Iran of providing Lebanese group Hezbollah with weapons. Israel's attack on Gaza, which have claimed the lives of more than 33,700 Palestinians since October 7, 2023, have further affected the two nations' already strained relationship.